So this area is my little kitchen nook. That's what I call this space. And I have changed out my tree since the last time you guys saw it decorate with me. The tree I had before just wasn't working out for the space. It wasn't, it was just too dense, I guess. It was just too full. So I got a more minimalist tree and I love it. Put it back in the same white pot. I've got my same um, chairs and stuff. I did switch out my rug. Um, I put an old rug that I had previously, and these have honestly just been sitting here. I, I have needed to get a white bowl. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and add the white bowl and the white flowers that I got from Amazon. The bowl is from Ross, and then we're gonna insert some flags, which are from Dollar Tree. These are my flowers that I picked out. I ended up having to get them from Amazon because when I walked into Hobby Lobby, I didn't find quite the right like little flowers with greenery. Everything that I found had like yellow in the center and I didn't want yellow. I just wanted strictly white and green. And these came in a 20 pack. You can either get them in a 12 or a 20. I went with a 20 just to be on the safe side and I've already tested it out, but it works so well. And all I do is actually just place it in here because I like how low the flowers are. I don't want this to be a tall arrangement um, because the flags are already going to be tall. So these are the flags that I get from Dollar Tree. You get a three pack of mini flags. I've already opened up a pack and I'm just going to style it here. All right, so here's what it looks like. It's super sweet, love the flags. The flags are a touch too big. I could probably also trim them on the ends. I actually trimmed a little bit off the ends of just the red stripes and I think it looks so much better. I trimmed about this much actually off the ends. So looks, looks really good. I love it. I'm keeping it ultra simple in this area. I could drape like garland across the mirror. You could add like little ornaments off of your trees if you wanted to. You could add pillows to your chair, but I am keeping it very simple in this area. All right, let's move on to my next space, which is my formal dining room. This year, I'm actually going to keep it very simple. And I'm just gonna use one thing that was $1.25 from Dollar Tree, these three glitter star picks. I'm gonna arrange them in my existing decor. I'm not switching anything out. I'm just gonna add these in there. And then when I hit August 1st or whenever I decide to remove these, it's just simply pulling them out and storing them away. Now I wanna arrange them in a way where the center star is just a little bit higher than the other two, and then the blue and red are going to be equal in height. I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit more. I don't wanna to see too much of the stick, you know? So I don't want it to be super high, but just to where you can see it. All right, I'm actually going to take out these flags. I do love them, they're very cute, but I wanted to show you guys this option as well. I just wanted to see what it would look like since this is kind of what I did to the dining room. And I think I do have like a little star theme going on rather than flags. So maybe this will just kind of go more along with my theme. Okay, so that's what that looks like. The flags actually looks really cute and it actually gives it a completely different look. And I think it actually looks better with the flags, but I'm gonna keep this for now. All right, so now we're at my entryway and this is my first time kind of having this set up. I've usually had a much longer entryway and even in my Florida house, I had what I considered two entryways. The first one right by the door was very short, but then like directly off the door, there was another one. You'd have to like see that house layout to understand but this is my only entryway and i love everything that's here i don't want to remove it so i'm gonna go in with my stars i love these stars so much they're just so good and i also like 
the simpleness of it. So I'm gonna go red, white, and blue, and I'm just going to put them like this. And honestly, that's so cute to me. It's very effective as well. And I think it's just the right amount of decor for how small the space is. Yes, I could do some garland. I even actually thought about hanging, instead of doing this, I thought about taking the little foam stars and kind of like hanging them from the branches. Um, I thought that would be cute, but in the end, I needed to use them for something else in the kitchen. All right, next up for decorating for 4th of July, I want to do my media room. It's looking a little messy, so there needs to be some cleaning done in here as well. But one of the first things I want to do is actually change out the posters. I have Mystic Pizza over here, and I have Indiana Jones and Star Wars. Now I'm actually gonna keep Star Wars because I like the red and blue of it, but I'm gonna pull for Jaws and I'm gonna pull for Weekend at Bernie's. But I think I'm gonna put Star Wars over here, which I really don't need to be doing all that, but I'm going to. So I just want the two like older style movies on this wall and then I want Star Wars on this opposite wall. So I'm gonna start off with those first and then I'm keeping it ultra simple and I'm doing some red pillows and then I bought this star quilt from Amazon and then this navy quilt and we're just gonna like style it over the couch. It also looks like Jaws is on the back of this one. So I'm gonna have to pull it and move it to another frame. This one, it is. So I'm just going to simply put Weekend at Bernie's on this one and I'm gonna put it right back up in the spot. And since we're in the media room, gotta put on the movie. And chances are you're probably going to see me in a lot of different outfits because I've been having to film it in pieces for this video, but. which is really cute, but it kind of looks brown. The back, that, like that looks brown, so. But I didn't want it for the stripes, so I obviously wanted it. I don't know if that's weird, but I kind of like it. I just pulled this. As you can see, first of all, let me turn Bernie down because I need to explain this. But whoever was living here before had the TV on the wrong side and they mounted it over here. So I do have paint that belongs to this house in this room. So I am planning on painting over that, um, but so ignore that. Um, and the lamps don't really go, but like here we are. Um, this room definitely needs some lamps sometimes, but anyways, I got these cute little stars from Dollar Tree. You guys know I love them. They're gonna be everywhere throughout this video. So I'm gonna go set them up. So here is the room. It's super small touches, but I think it made such a difference. The pillows really do it. I have these pillows for like Valentine's Day, for Christmas. They've just, they've paid for themselves over and over. So really like that. I think the posters are crooked, so let me fix that. Just to pull the camera view back a little bit further so you can take in more of the room. Yeah, I really think the pillows do it. You know, it's just a simple touch. And again, I use it for multiple other holidays. It's even a great color for Halloween as well. Um, so 
It's a great investment. And then Dollar Tree Stars just kept it super sim simple in here. You know, I don't really need to overdo it because this really is just a media room. I think the posters also do it. Harley Quinn's another great option because she has that blue and red. I have Harley Quinn, but I think of her more as Halloween. I have this boxwood wreath in this little like coat closet -y. not coat closet, but I don't know what you would call this. There's a name, but I don't remember. This is where Loki eats his food and I love these stars. I love putting them especially in a boxwood wreath. You don't need any super glue. I have found that these, if you tuck them in just right, they don't fall off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add them throughout. All right, so I went ahead and added it. These are a little like further apart. So I probably need to like work these out a little bit more. They would actually be better if you stuck a little stick in them and then stuck them into your wreath. Um, I think I might've done that in the past, but yeah, I just need to work on the placement, but otherwise looks super cute. And then with these hurricane glasses, I decided to stick them here for now. Um, I think they'll only work if I can get enough of these little stars in here. So the leftover from that wreath I poured into here, but as you can see, it's just not enough. I could probably put a candle in there and then that would be better. Um, and they would just kind of like, you know, fill in on the sides. So I might do that as well. Um, but I think I would like the look honestly with it if it was just like filled with stars and no candle, but we'll see. Maybe Dollar Trees will have a little bit more of those packages. I doubt it, but um, we'll see if I can find some more of them in my stash. Right, my next stop is gonna be my living room. And what I wanna do is get rid of the black features. We're going to put away this brown pillow and the black gingham. It's supposed to look like this. It's kind of a little crazy, but let's go ahead and get the blankets and the black pillow sorted, and then we can do the rest of the decor. So now I'm just gonna kind of give you guys the full tour. Um, we have the entryway with the stars. I didn't do any sort of decorating in my office or the craft room. Here is the media room. And we've got the stars there. I added my summer posters. I just put on some like 4th of July like TV art, which is really cool and fun. And then, you know, just the red pillows and the blankets. The only money I spent really to update the space were these two blankets, the red pillows I already had. And like I mentioned, it's just they paid for themselves a million times over at this point. And yeah, I just need to do some touch-up paint. I already made a list to go to Dollar Tree and get some like paint rollers and stuff um, so I can fix that. And then I will mount this poster on the wall. Uh, yeah, so... 
that is the space and just to kind of come from this direction so you guys can kind of see it's really fun i love this space i've never decorated in a media room before for fourth of july so that has been really fun for me and then once i realized that i wanted to go with a star theme that's really what you're going to see throughout i did not end up using the flags in any capacity because i really wanted to just do the star thing and super simple you know there's not much going on i didn't update anything else i didn't add more garland I think something about just these little stars makes, I don't know, it makes it really cute and it, it gives it that festive little touch without feeling too overwhelming and it's even better that it came from Dollar Tree for me. So I get, I get, I get some crazy joy out of that. Let's kind of start from this back way and we'll move forward. This was really when I suddenly realized that I did want to go with the stars rather than the flags. The flag flags did look really cute in this pot, but I think for me being cohesive, it's just the, the route that I wanted to take. There is a level where you, so just kind of taking a step back, letting you guys kind of take it all in. What I did here was I switched out my pillow covers to navy, which still goes really well with this house because the island base right there is navy. Um, and these pillow covers I also use for Christmas time. Um, I use navy with my Christmas colors. It's like a nod to Ralph Lauren in a way. So they're once again repurposed for me. And then I picked this up as new. So the gingham, I wanted to do the same effect that I had before with my black. My black is my everyday. And then the red gingham looks so cute and I can pull this back out for Christmas. Actually for Christmas I do plaid, but I could use this. Um, I could even swap it and use it in the media room instead. And I can use it for Valentine's Day. So it'll work for other holidays. Um, and then this little pillow, this little pillow really kind of sparked the color palette that I wanted to do. I just more prefer vibrant colors for 4th of July rather than the vintage colors. So like set of bright white, you see like the cream, you know, cause of that age look. But this little pillow was what did it. And I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was $13.99, but 40% off of that price. And then the little navy stars. And I just love this like embroidery. And I like the little pillow. It's just really cute. I feel like without it, you know, it, it, it does a little something. So just, yeah, it adds that little something I think it needs. Now this quilt, I was so lucky to have found it. I got it from eBay and she's stunning. We're seeing the same vibrant white. So I really love that feature. And then you're seeing the big stars and when I saw this blanket, I knew I wanted to display it in my living room. I didn't know how at first because I do have a sofa table right here. But if I didn't have the sofa table, I would have draped it on the back. But even on the seat, I think it's so fun because then those are on the seat. You know, it just it just kind of goes. And I've never done anything like this before on like a main couch, but I really like it. And yeah, so we've got navy pillows and then I did the same exact thing to this chair as the other one, so nothing different. The fireplace mantle, really kind of like the focal point, I, but I didn't change out any of my artwork. I didn't do anything to the existing decor. I just added to it. But instead of doing red, white, and blue, I thought that was gonna be a little too much pushing all the colors. And I think doing red, white, red, so, just emulating this right here is what I was trying to go for. Um, and I really like it. I think something about doing that instead of red, red, white, and blue, just kind of like, it doesn't make it overly busy, if that makes sense. I think red, white, and blue would have been overly busy and doing red, white, red toned it down a little bit and kind of keeps your eye here and then when you look over at the TV area, I did end up removing the stars from here and I decided to put them there. And I thought that this just kind of needed to be left 
the way that it was just plain simple and as far as my kitchen goes i really only did a few little tiny things i didn't overdo it in here as well although there is a lot of like fun things i could have done i could have added some wreaths to the backs of the chairs or fourth of july bows or i could even have added stars to them you know you can really just kind of like go all out and whatever makes your heart happy but this year just kind of due to my time crunch I'm just kind of omitted to having something a little bit more simple, but let me tell you about Joanna Parker because I love her stuff. She's my Ray Dunn, if you will, and just no one does it like Joanna Parker. Um, and then I found this teapot at Home Goods the other day, and I knew, like, look, it even has the star, the vibrant white, like, it just could not be more perfect for the space. And so I like it right here. I didn't know where else to kind of put it. I thought that it needed some red, white, and blue over here. So I just added it there and that's where it's gonna stay for now. And then when you flip over this way, now this area is not quite done. <laughs> I'm actually waiting on a package from Amazon as much as I hate to admit that, but I ran out of my stars from Dollar Tree. And as soon as I put these hurricane vases over here, I was like, yes, I wanna fill these with the little red hearts. And you guys know I get these from Dollar Tree but I just didn't want to risk going to a Dollar Tree and not finding them right now. So I did order them from Amazon and I'm just gonna like fill them up, my camera. There we go, I'm just gonna fill them up when it gets here. They're the same exact stars, really. Yeah, I know, I, I would have, it would have been so much better if I had them. I looked everywhere in my attic, in all of my boxes for my 4th of July stuff. Maybe I just didn't look good enough but I know I have so many of these little stars. Now these are all brand new. These are all brand new packets that I hauled this year. And you know damn well I have a bunch of these stars somewhere and I just couldn't find it. And I, I waited to the last minute and I should have done that. I should have been prepared. So I did pull the trigger on Amazon, but it was like $8 for a pack of 60. So I think it actually might end up being cheaper than Dollar Tree, but yeah. So anyways, once I get those, I'm going to fill those up more and then add a little bit more to those. And hopefully I'm going to have a clip to add by the time I'm like editing. Maybe it'll come in, but I do have to get to editing this video so you guys get it because it's July 1st. So, and then we have this little wreath, which so cute and simple love my little stars and this is exactly how i'm going to do my front door by the way i haven't done it yet i need to get a command hook so i can hang my wreaths on my door but i'm gonna have the same wreath with the stars so that's it and that is my fourth of july look for this year i hope you guys enjoyed and saw kind of like i don't know if this is minimal or not i feel like it's just the right amount for my space but um yeah, so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the 4th of July decor. And if I do have the editing clips for that so you can kind of just like see it finalized, I'll insert it. I hope you loved the whole little star theme and you liked the transition of my movie posters. Last night, I even made my list for my new movie posters that I'm gonna switch out for fall. So. Once August 1st hits, these posters will stay up until August 1st. So we're going to spend all month with these. And then August 1st, brand new posters, fall decorating. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait to share that with you guys. I hope to see you there. Bye.